Hi, and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to get started with your Wine Producer account. And I will also run you through all the functions and features of Wine Ally for Wine Producers. To get started, we have the account settings page. And this is the page that you will land on after creating a password and confirming your user information. On this page, there are some information that you need to provide before continuing. Some of the fields on this page will already be filled in. And these are fields containing information that you have already given us when requesting an account. All of the fields on this page are not required of you as a user to provide. However, it will be of great value for both you and your brand if you fill in all the information on this page. Especially these two fields, but I will come back to exactly why later. This box will always be checked in beforehand. However, if you don't wish to be marketed by us on social media, you can just uncheck it. Once you're happy with the information, all you need to do is press save and move on to the next step. If we scroll up we can see that there are two more tabs under the account settings page. Under my account, you can update some of the user information, like changing password or choose another language. And if we go to the users tab, we can see the users that has been registered on this account or choose to invite a new user. If you are more than one person who will be using Wine Ally, you need to register a new user for each member of your team. And adding a new user is very quick and simple. All you need to do is to click on the Invite User button, enter the user's email, and choose a position for the user. Now press Invite, and that's it. If you want to know what the different positions have access to, click this button, and you can see what limitations they have. Now we can move on to the main feature of Wine Ally for wine producers, which is registering your wines. Go to the menu, and then go to Register Wines. And this is where we will register our wines. It's important to know, that once you have registered a wine, it will instantly be available to anyone that is using Wine Ally. So only register correct wine with correct wine data. The first thing we want to do, is to click this plus button, and enter the name of the wine that we wish to register. Great, now press save. Now the vintage and bottle size fields have been unlocked. The vintage field will always be filled in with the current year. To change this, simply click on the plus button and enter the vintage of your wine. If your wine is a non-vintage wine, simply check this box and press save. Same on the bottle size field, this will always have 75 centiliters filled in as a standard. If you wish to change it, Simply select another bottle size from the drop down. Next, we have the region and subregion fields. The region field will always be the same as to what you've entered on the account settings page. You can change both the region and the subregion field, but only to regions in the same country. Moving on, we have the grapes field. This one is pretty straightforward, since all you need to know is in the title. If multiple grapes, please register the most dominant grape first, or choose a typical blend. Next, we have the drink from and to fields. Simply enter the time window for when to drink this wine. Now we have the color and type fields. These fields and the style, weight, and serving temperature fields will automatically be filled in when you've added the grapes of your wine. If you want to change any of them, you can. But for this wine, I'm happy with how it is. Next, we have the designation field, which for this wine I will leave empty. On the flavor of oak field, select one of the choices from the drop-down. Next we have the biodynamic, organic, vegan-friendly, and ban nature fields. Simply check one of the two boxes before continuing. On the alcohol field, I will say 13%. And on the sugar grams per liters field, I will say 0.2. Moving on, we have the weight and serving temperature fields. And once again, I am happy with how these look. Wine Allies algorithms, are engineered to always provide the user with as accurate information as possible. This is also why some of the fields on this page became automatically filled in when providing us the key values for this wine. And finally, we need to upload a wine label image for this wine. Once you have uploaded the image, press the Add Wine button. You have now successfully registered your wine. To add another vintage or bottle size of this wine, all we need to do, is to go back to the Vintage field, click on the plus button, 
and change the vintage to something else. Once we have done that, we can see that the drink year from, and drink year to fields, as well as the wine label image, has been cleared. The rest of the fields will remain with the same information as registered on the previous vintage. However, if you'd wish to make any changes on these fields, you can. If not, update the cleared fields, and press the add wine button. And this is how simple it is, to add a new vintage. The same process goes, for registering this wine in another bottle size. Simply go back to the bottle size field, and choose another bottle size from the drop down. Upload the wine label image again, and press add wine. To add a completely new wine, all we need to do, is to press the plus button on the wine field. Enter the name of the new wine, and press save. This time, all the fields has been cleared, since this is not the same wine as the previous. Now that we've gone through how to register wines, we can move on to the, Our Wines page. This is where we can see the wines that we've added. If you wish to have a look at one of the wines that you have registered, click on the wine name, and you will find all the information that has been registered on it. And if you'd like to make any changes for this wine, go to the Edit Wine Informations tab, and make the changes you wish from here. If we go back to the Wine Information tab, you'll find a Download PDF button, in the bottom left corner. If you press this button, a PDF fact sheet will be downloaded for this particular wine. And now we're coming back to the Account Settings page, and the two fields I mentioned earlier that would be of great value if you would fill them in. One of our users has been kind enough, to allow me to use one of their fact sheets for me to show you how it might look. This is how it might look when you have downloaded the PDF. In the top right corner, we have the company image, which you can also upload on the account settings page. Then we have these two paragraphs. The first paragraph is the, estate facts and history field, and the second paragraph is the, producer philosophy and winemaking field. These PDFs can also be translated into several languages, which can also be a great help when sending these to your distributors. To do that, go back to the account settings page, go to the My Account tab, and change language, then go back to the wine and download it again. It's that simple. Now for the last part, if we go back to the, Our Wines page, there is another button, also at the bottom left corner, that says Download Excel. And if you press this button, you will get an Excel file, containing all the wines that you have registered, with all the information on them. This is the way your distributors, hotels, and restaurants, will be able to receive your wine information. This also means they will save a lot of time and money on handling wine data. We hope this guide was helpful. And remember, this video will always be here if you ever need more help. We wish you a continued great day.